Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. In this video on proofs, we're going to discuss proof by exhaustion, which is a silly way, is a silly term for really a simple concept. If you have, if you want to prove that P implies Q, so if P then Q, then proof by exhaustion just means that you break P up into different cases and then you show that they all lead to Q and therefore P will imply Q. So let's get started and uh, start using some proof by exhaustion. Uh, let's say we want to prove that if n is a natural number between 2 and 5 inclusive, then 4 does not divide n squared plus 2, where this symbol just means does not divide evenly. Um, and so what we're going to do is break it up into cases. So if we have n equal to 2, our first case, we plug it into n squared plus 2. Um, and n squared plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Um, 4 doesn't divide 6, so we're good. With n equal to 3 for case 2, um, we will have that 4 does not divide 9 plus 2, which is 11, which is true. For n equals to 4, our case 3, we will have that 4 does not divide uh, 16 plus 2, which is 18. And for n equals to 5, our last case, we will have that 4 does not divide 25 plus 2, which is 27. And that is true. So we've broken up into every possible case. We've shown that if n is equal to 2 through 5, it will never be, n squared plus 2 will never be divisible by 4. Um, and that seems like a silly thing to prove. So we can also use proof by exhaustion to show that if n is any integer, then um, 4 will not divide n squared plus 2. And to do this, we're just going to break it up into slightly more broader cases. And so for case 1, let's say that n is even. And Using our definition of even, we'll just define n equal to 2m. And this means that n squared plus 2 is equal to 2m squared plus 2, which is 4m squared plus 2. And from here, we can factor out a 2 and get, oh, no, just kidding, not there yet. And so we have 4m squared plus 2 is equal to some multiple of 4. So we'll just say 4 times some k, where k is also an integer. From here, we can divide both sides by 2, and we get 2m squared plus 1 is equal to 2k. If you remember the definition of even and odd integers, you'll see that this is an even integer plus 1, making it an odd integer, and this is an even integer, similar to how we defined n. And so we have an odd integer in equal to an even integer, and that can't happen. So we've shown that if n is even, 4 will not divide n squared plus 2. So let's look at when n is odd. And we'll define n equal to 2m plus 1, where m is, again, just an integer. So plugging it into n squared plus 2, we get 2m 
plus 1 squared plus 2. We can foil this out and we'll get 4m squared plus 4m plus 1 plus 2. And we can simplify this a little bit and get 2m squared plus 2m plus 1, all multiplied by 2. So I just factored 2 out of these three terms and added 1 at the end. All right, and so what we have is that this term is again equal to a multiple of 4. So we have 4 times k, where k is just some integer. And we have an odd term on this side, since it's an even term plus 1, making it odd. We have an even term on this side. And again, we have odd equal to even, which can't happen. And so, since all integers must either be even or odd. We have shown that for any integer n, 4 will not divide into n squared plus 2. And that is it for this video on proof by exhaustion. To see more videos about proofs, you can click right here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right there. To visit centerofmath.org, you can click there. And if you're on a mobile device, you can hit the I on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Thank you.